What is up Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today we interrupt your regularly scheduled Scotland programming coming at you guys from the actually the very end of the entire UK tour. We are in London and we are doing this a little bit out of order because we are visiting a place called Las Iguanas today which happens to be a chain restaurant all across the UK serving Latin American cuisine but they are inviting us out to help kick off a new menu item called the Grande Nacho Platter and also kick off a brand new food challenge that should be available at all of their locations across the UK, which would be really, really cool for you guys to experience. So Randy and I are about to be a couple of guinea pigs for a massive nacho platter challenge. But as usual, we will catch you guys at Las Iguanas when the massive nacho challenge platter arrives. Nacho Challenge has arrived here in front of me at Las Iguanas. This is insane to behold. Basically in front of me I have three of their brand new Grande Nacho portions but I have it loaded with five different toppings which sound absolutely divine. It has the jackfruit topping which has some like beetroot juice in there to give it that delicious purpley red color. I have some black beans, their chicken tinga, their chili con carne, and also the chipotle shredded beef. Then there right in the middle is the brand Brand new fondita sauce which looks delicious it's basically delicious melty cheese and then all over the top there's obviously shredded cheese we've got guacamole sour cream bunch of jalapenos which scares me a little bit but anyways I'm going to have 45 minutes to finish everything that you see here minus this little cup of cheese here that's optional and that's just because I'm obsessed with this fondita sauce if I'm successful I do get the 35 quid meal for free a groovy t-shirt and a spot up on Las Iguanas brand new wall of fame super excited that they're having me here to help kick off this challenge so that you guys can come out and take this challenge on yourselves. So, who hopefully I'm a good little guinea pig. This is a lot of food. That is a lot of chips. But anyways, as usual, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. <laughs> Oh boy, the nerves are real, but one, two, three, it is nacho eating time. Here we go. Start with some guac. Oh, yummy. Okay. Hola, Kilo crew, and welcome to this oddly time-skipping video here. So delicious that it transcends time, but wanted to make sure that you guys were aware that this challenge here at Las Iguanas exists. You can tell these tortilla chips are house-made. Spoken like the true tortilla chip connoisseur that I am, whenever I go out for, shall we say, some uh, libations, <laughs> nachos are kind of one of my go-to things. That or maybe some loaded fries, but nachos are right up there as a uh, sharing platter with a drink. Let's get in on some of this jackfruit. I've had jackfruit as a meat replacement before, and let me tell you, it is amazing. If jackfruit was everywhere, I would probably become a vegetarian. Okay, amazing is true, but I don't think I could ever give up delicious things like ribs, black pudding, and, and haggis. <laughs> Try some chili con carne. Ooh, flavorful, okay. Big fan. It takes a lot for me to compliment chili because I'm not like the biggest fan of it usually, but this truly was really flavorful. It had like a good amount of spice to it and also some sweetness. Let's get it on the chipotle beef, try that out. The word chipotle kind of scares me, but this is really mild, so not a scary chipotle. Chipotle was the least of my worries on this nacho platter. The jalapenos were what had my nose running a little bit. I was, uh, I was feeling it. Oh yeah. yeah. She's four minutes and 50 seconds in. This is so good. I just got in on some of this chicken tinga and wow, I am a big fan. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the chicken tinga was my favorite of all of the toppings. It had a really good it's like spice to sweetness profile, almost like a piri piri. I swear these nachos keep regenerating. The pile is just as big. Whew. I feel sorry for our uh, flatmates we're staying with in London. 
<laughs> making a typical flatulence joke. What kind of a Katina Eats Kilos video would you be watching without one? But yeah, we were staying with some really good friends of ours while in London, and uh, you know, a London flat isn't the largest place for a, uh, a gal with a little bit of a gas, shall we say. We are finally making some really good headway on this. It is so delicious, luckily. All the toppings mix together really well for being five completely different toppings. All that matters is that there's good tortilla chips and good cheese and life is happy. It's a common misconception that I would have some hard to please palate, but I'm pretty happy with the simple things like cheese, cheese, and uh, more cheese. This is an absolute treat. You're in for a treat. I know. Honestly, for one of my first trips in London, what would have popped in my head was probably like fish and chips for something that I would crave when I came to town, but come here for some Latin American food. They're all across the UK. I'm at the Waterloo Station location in Royal Festival Hall, but just come to Las Iguanas, enjoy the new grande nachos. Delightful. This place was pretty crowded when we got there, and I don't think it was purely due to happy hour. Honestly, the menu had a ton of stuff on there to please just about anybody. Now, so far these haven't needed any extra cheese, but for fun, I'm gonna dip some of these naked chips in some of this bandita sauce. That's good, it's like super smoky, cheesy. Mm. <laughs> Eloquently spoken, uh, cheese sauce is cheesy, you say? Katina, stop it now. <laughs> now you're just pulling our legs, right? Thank you very much. Awesome, a fork has now entered the equation. Usually I'm a firm non-believer in forks with nachos. It's a finger food, but we are at the juicy, all the toppings combined section of this, and this needs a fork. Otherwise, I would look like a complete animal. So let's be proper. It's still messy, that's okay. When do I ever not look like an animal when I'm eating? But anyways, y'all, on that note, I'm gonna leave you guys to enjoy the rest. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy back in Scotland once again for the next video. Did you ask if I was gonna finish the cheese? <laughs> no! That's good, but I'm watching my figure. I may, however, celebrate what I'm going to assume cockily is a victory with a nice little self-made caparena a little bit later. Did I say that right? Caparena, yeah, with a little bit of rrr in there. Sad to say, final bits of the Triple Grande Nacho Challenge. This was so good. Mad props to everyone here with Las Iguanas. If you're not hungry enough to try the challenge, at least come out and try the Grande Nachos. They are divine. 10 out of 10 recommend, but anyways, cheers to the sort of last bite. Here we go. absolutely delicious 19 minutes and 32 seconds was my final time to defeat that Woo, triple grande nacho challenge here at las iguanas be sure to check with the location near you if they offer the challenge or not that was absolutely delicious but for winning i do get the 35 quid meal for free i do get a groovy t-shirt and i do get a spot up on the wall of fame now Woo. If you beat Randy's time here on this challenge, you do get a gift card to come back and use here at Las Iguanas later, which is a heck of a deal. So hopefully my time of 1932 has convinced you guys to come out and try this challenge. Absolutely delicious. And again, if you're not hungry enough to try it, just try the grande nachos because that is kind of a food challenge on its own. Those portions are massive. So big thank you to you guys for watching. A big thank you to Las Iguanas for inviting me out to be the guinea pig for this challenge. That is super cool, super exciting. So as always, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys maybe making a caparena a little bit later. Okay, peace out. Bye. So I'm going to do that here. They spell it out for you on the board and I'm going to enjoy me one instead of dessert as I normally would, although I may or may not have just had a few churros. But we are going to follow directions here. So first it says add eight lime chunks and add them to the glass. So they've already got them counted out. So we're gonna add the limes. I'll just dump it unceremoniously. 
Add three spoons of sugar and muddle together. So I've got the spoons of sugar right here, pre-measured out. I'm just gonna put that in there. This is my first time having one of these, by the way. I'm gonna muddle it. So we're just gonna give it some mushy mushy, AKA muddling. I could be doing this totally wrong, so bartenders, feel free to uh, call me out here, but I think I'm doing an okay job. No, I was kidding. We are going to add ice to half the glass. It's probably gonna all rush out and look very unceremonious. Okay. And then we are going to add some of this delicious Magnifica Cachaca, which is made specifically for Las Iguanas here. So we have a little shot of that here. This is basically a Brazilian rub. So you add the full shot, which that is a generous shot, by the way. That is my kind of shot. And then we're going to stir it with this beautiful spoon here. Give it a nice little whirly twirly. All these limes are gonna help digest all of those nachos. And then we're going to top off with even more ice. And then I finally get to enjoy a drink. So you have to basically be your own bartender, which is pretty fun. I like what they're doing here at Las Iguanas. They keep you on your toes. All right, so I think we're pretty well mixed. And now it is time to enjoy. Cheers, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Catch you in the next one. Oh, I like. I'll be back in a bit. No, I won't. I'm probably gonna go pass out somewhere with one of these. Okay, peace out, bye. That is so good, okay.